can see I've had a bit of a haircut. If you see my vlogs, um, two to three weeks ago, my hair was much, much longer and it looked much messier than what it is now. Um, I always try to go shorter when I cut my hair. I cut my hair only once a year. I don't know about you, but I don't like cutting my hair a lot. I only need, I'd only do, do it once a year for the summer and then I just sort of let it grow. So, but it's always a bit daunting because I, I want to, I want to go shorter, but then I'm also a, bit, a little bit scared of the result. <laughs> but I'm very pleased with how it is today. Uh, my hairstylist was very comforting. She knows how a little bit um, apprehensive I am to try new things with my hair. But, um, but no, it was really, it was a really nice experience. So as you saw, I had the haircut at the salon. It's called the Studio MW and my hairstylist was Isabel. So if you're in Montreal, do try that place out because it's really, really good, very professional. And what I liked is that I'm not a very talkative person. Sometimes when I go to the beauty salon or to the hairdresser, I just like to relax. I'm not really uh, that talkative with people. And she was very fine. She answered the questions that I had and she didn't really force me to <laughs> talk and gossip. And that was really what I wanted actually, just really chill out and be pampered. And I think that's exactly what I got. So do tell me what you think about my haircut. Um, I sort of like it. I've never really tried that kind of haircut before. So it was a bit more edgy. Um, I like the soft little curls that she did at the end and sort of little sort of long lay layering that was really nice as well um, and then what I did was I went to do my groceries I went to check out a furniture store as I've said in my other box before I am going to be moving out from here it was supposed to be two months time and now with the COVID it's three months time so but I'm still checking for furniture because apparently the fun for some furniture it takes about like five weeks to get delivered to your home so I thought I might as well be looking now so I know Exactly what I like. Sorry, the lighting in this room is really weird. My windows face full west, so in the summer and even in the winter, actually, if it's really sunny, my room gets really, really hot, and there's a lot of glare. So I'm having to shut my the blinds completely and use the sort of artificial light that I have here. I love shorter hair in the summer. It's much more practical to deal with. Um, but I do eventually tend to miss my longer hair because it does take a long time to grow, doesn't it? But yeah, no, I don't think I'll have any regrets, not for another month anyway, so I think I should be fine. One tip though that I'd like to give you is do research about the kind of hairstyles you want before going to the salon, because a lot of times what I've done before is I've gone uh, thinking, okay, well, the hairstylist is going to look at me, look at my face, the shape of my jaw, and my chin and my forehead and then start to give me um, advice on what kind of hairstyle would suit me and most of the time when I've done that um, I didn't really like that much uh, the hairstyle that they chose for me uh, because I think they have an idea in the head of what would suit me but that might not really reflect my personality I mean unless of course you know your hairdresser for a very long time and they know what they know your kind of style already but if you're trying someplace new which i did today um it's much better if you do your own research which i did i had three different pictures i might, I might try to insert those pictures here in the video if i if i had get the time um and i told her you know this is kind of what i wanted like long layers with a very edgy look um, I wasn't sure how short I was going to go. I ended up going much shorter than I had initially planned, but I, I think it, I think it is much better for this kind of hairstyle to have it uh, to have it shorter. So yeah, do your research before going, so you don't end up being disappointed uh, with the eventual choice that you make for your hair. One thing of concern to me was that I also wanted to be able to tie my hair back. So if my hair was short but not long enough, I wouldn't be able to tie it properly. My hair would be uh, popping out in all kinds of places and I really didn't want that. So um, I mentioned that to my hairstylist. I think it's very important to be um, very vocal, <laughs> very honest with your hairstylist. If you don't like something, there are times when um, they were, my hairstylist, not the one that I went to today, but before uh, they were doing something, they were saying, okay, I'm going to do this and that to your hair. 
and in my mind I was thinking mm, I'm not sure that's going to work for the type of hair that I have um, but I didn't say anything sometimes I'm like okay I'll just go with it but it's, it's very important to be vocal and to say and to state your concerns and then she can address them and that's what I did today and I'm very happy that I did uh, another thing again that I also wanted to that I spoke to that I spoke about with my hairstylist was the fact that my hair looks in a diff different way when it's wet a different way when it's dry uh, especially right now she sort of styled my hair in a particular way she did like a brushing uh, with my hair and it looks like that right now but when I wash my hair when, which I will do in a week or so um, when I wash my hair and then it dries up I don't know about you but I always let my hair dry naturally I don't um, I don't use any straighteners or um, hair dryers so when I, when I let my hair dry naturally um, it, it gets much it, it's more like a haystack <laughs> and I wanted a hairstyle that fitted the haystack look because that's the way my hair looks naturally every day so because sometimes what you do is that you go for a haircut and it looks great at the hairstylist it looks great when you come out under the hairdressers uh, they do the brushing they style your hair they did some curls in my hair for example today as um, as you can see and then when i wash it it looks completely different and i end up with all kinds of hair of different shape and size that just doesn't fit uh, my face at all so so yeah do take the time to speak to your hairstylist always important one thing i wanted to mention though is that i usually well not usually i have been using natural products for the last seven to eight years so i use products that have absolutely no chemicals in them um so when i go to the beauty salon obviously i can't i mean i could t ask them to use only the products that i use but then i don't always i don't want to be that finicky so i i, I tend to go along with it but when i'm at home i always only use um, 100 percent natural products so absolutely no chemicals only kind of sulfates and preservatives in uh, in the products that I use um, I don't know I find that's better I'm going to make another video perhaps talking about that I thought that might be interesting but yeah I just wanted to share that with you so tell me what you like do you like longer hair do you like shorter hair medium sized hair do you cut your hair during the summer or any other seasons what do you do to your hair I'd love to hear about that um, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please do subscribe, uh, like this video as well and yeah, comment below and tell me your thoughts. Um, I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye bye.